Today we're going to be talking about uh, some other species we're doing, specifically the wolf herring. Some guys know them as silkies. Uh, pretty much, if you want to picture it, a long elongated type fish, kind of a crossover between a very long sardine and a walla walla. That's kind of the best way to get it. They're very, sort of, that sort of shape, very similar to a walla walla. Long, sort of thin, but an actual fish, so not that fin that runs all the way along the top. Fish shape with fin at the back and some really gnarly sort of unkept teeth sitting in the front. Um, that's where it gets its name, wolf herring. So herring sort of shape, but very big. And then the wolf coming from those teeth that they've got. So now, in terms of size wise, you're looking at a fish that grows up to about a meter in length and located from East London on our coast all the way up north and you do get them overseas and things like that. Now, in terms of the feeding habits and things like that, they do tend to show in very small groups um, and they're very very active hunters, they're actually ferocious predators. And that comes from the big eye that they've got and the, the teeth are really designed to sort of grab grab small prey fish. Now, they are a herring in the, the cloopy forms sort of order, so they are similar to your red eyes and things like that, that are your sardines, herrings, that kind of thing. Except instead of being filter feeders like they are, they don't have the developed gill rakers at the back for filtering out food out of the out of the water. So they actually actively hunt and grab fish and, and, and eat them like that. Now they are not the strongest of, of fighters, but they do put up a little bit of a go and growing up to a meter means they can actually give you a bit of a fight. They are really ideally suited to light tackle angling and you get them down to from about the shoreline all the way down to about 120 meters. So they were quite a wide range. Um, and in terms of the actual guys catching them, you're looking at, they normally get caught by the guys either spinning for snook or trawling for snook along the back line. So throwing your little spinners, your, your flies for them and uh, fillet baits and things like that and small little liveys are really ideal for them. In terms of wire, not really a necessity. They can cut you off, but um, they get put off by wire very easily because they've got that big eye. They, they, they can see very well in the, in the water. So you don't really want to use wire for them if you can get away with it. Uh, eating wise, not really a fish worth eating. They poor quality flesh. It's not really, they don't have also a lot of meat in them. It's more, the guys that do eat them, either salt them or, or deep fry them. So it kind of tells you it's not a fish that's got a good, good quality meat. But what they are very good at, because of that, they've got a very, very shiny body. They are extremely good bait for strip baits um, and for as, as a cooter bait, because they've got that lot of shine in them. So you can use strip baits like that for almost any kind of fish that, that likes a lot of shine. Uh, tuna, marlin, the meat tends to fall apart a little bit, you do have to baby at slower speeds. And then also for, for snook, you can use slightly thinner cut into strips for that. And then for cooter, you're gonna wanna rig them down deep um, with a few trebles, very similar to a Walla Walla, and that big shine puts out, it just, it's deadly for the big kuta. So, uh, the scientific name, we didn't actually cover this, Chirocentris dorab, um, covers the silky, the wolf herring, just depends where you're from as to what they call them. And yeah, small shelling species, get up to a meter, very nice fun on ultralight tackle, very good bait fish, otherwise it's a good thing to catch and release, and uh, yeah, you get them around pretty much everywhere along the coast, surf zone kind of thing, they, where you're going to find lots of little bait fish. So you can hunt them pretty much anywhere along our coast from East London up north and river mouths, anywhere you're going to find a snook. But yeah, that's the, the wolf herring guys. Cheers.